Welcome back. If Army Geniuses win this one, they will take first seed and Geek Fam will drop to second. Yoi not even starting with the uh, the Burning Spears at all, so he's uh, left it out completely. Meanwhile, bottom lane, DB is not feeling very healthy in this lane, and they're going to find the first blood for Roger. Uh, ever since the uh, lane started, they have been uh, pressuring him, so it is... Uh... It was uh, normal to expect. Oh, mid lane. There's mid lane. That's a big death. battle. Oh, it's got to be the Wind Ranger actually taking this one. Another water rune spawns. Cox decides to go to the bottom half this time. He's going to take a couple hits here. Fisher comes out as well. He's going to die here. It's going to be another kill. And Husker to take this one. Just burning her alive. One thing that I'm kind of kind of worried about on Geek Fam's side is their physical damage output with this Wind Ranger. Because you're fighting against two helms of Iron Will. You have both the Husker. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. It is actually, the, the Beastmaster on the other side. Oh, nuts. It's going to be a double kill in the mid lane for the Husker. I'm talking about something that's uh, completely irrelevant. The CS is going to be changing, and now the Husker is asserting dominance, plus killing some free couriers because. Uh, Keeping bottom. Oh, they want the last kill here within your dream, coming in with the Solar Guardian. There's the Lesh stun uh, landing on ball on the right under them, but it's still going to be DB with the kill. Ball top lane, nice can they one. catch Barish here? Oh, nicely touches. He does catch one of those uh, brambles as he leaps forward. Diabolic edict can be an issue, but uh, hey. you uh, you're not going to die from that. Courier snipe into Wind Ranger now being fought in the mid lane. There's the Willow coming out with the brambles, but Cox is still going to die. CML should be okay, and Yoey. He's gonna keep the line. He's gonna keep holding and pushing this Dark Willow away. Also takes this a lot of damage from three Burning Spear stacks, so... Definitely nothing to be trifled with an arrow right next to him. Here comes Yoey. Gets the connection from the life break, but no right click through. Roger will go down. <laughs> They're so desperate to take down this Husker. He's gonna have the supports in the vicinity. And CML and Varish, they are understanding where they need to stand and how they need to play to make sure that Yoey has a beautiful time. That's a uh, wind run being... Oh, sorry. That's a uh, focus fire used up. Without uh, Javelin, here comes in your dream into the action. Cox is not going to take the damage from the initial Celestial Hammer. But uh, they will still secure out Cox because he's surrounded by enemies. Looking for the roar onto the Beastmaster through the Husker. And Yoey will go down in your dream, turning around for Narman. Narman still burning and slowed up in your dream. Will grab his second kill in this engagement. Very good play uh, from Yoey. From just, Force, sorry. Wait, who popped Roshan's Lincolns there? Uh, the uh, seed shot. The seed shot. Ah, oh, the seed shot. All right, I was wondering, like, <laughs> Roshan's still staying in his pit. He's unfazed by all the action that's going in. Your dreams already cleared out a triple. He's got stick charges for the Celestial Hammer, but CML, he will take the kill. Narman, let's see what your plan is. CML and DP are going to be diving. He goes for the fear. It connects on the razor. Arrow flies in, and that seals the deal. Norman is history. Is he? It's just gonna. It's just gonna take some time. Of course he is. In your dream, uh, fighting at the top lane, force is being forced away. <clears throat> He's got the uh, connection there from the Starbreaker. Yoey coming in with the jump in, and that's another one for Army Genius. Also, Windrunner having to do some jungling here, so Cox is not happy with uh, with his current farm. It's just gonna get more harder and harder. Skim found inside the dire triangle, sitting right under an ob sword and Roger. Oh, he died here the last time. He's gonna die here again. He's really he, making. He's, he's really down. actually making them work for it. Yep, he's gonna make it his way out. Dawnbreaker, Desolator, almost ready. A second life Great. for the Husker here. He was tickling uh, the Dawnbreaker. Big, big Harris issue. Harris going to walk into an armor. Norman feeling very optimistic here after just finishing a camp. Just went on full farm mode and uh, enters the high ground, which is not safe to go to. Interesting that uh, they want to oh, the use the... Uh, oh, nice one from CML. Actually gets the Fisher to connect onto the Wind Ranger. DB right on top of him. There's the pig pole to try to get some distance, but the, the movement. Oh, Cox, he's really getting griefed by it. The tower hit still following, but the wind run duration, level four. He's got a lot of distance. The Fisher almost on okay. point. He's actually out. This first game, 
feels like it's going to be over very soon. Army Genius is the next kill. They might have actually gotten the Windrunner away the last time, but it's not going to be the same story again. He's TP'd into mid. The thing is, the other uh, heroes on your side can't believe in that. All right, DB versus Cam and Roger takes a lot of damage and deals a decent amount to back as well. Roger's about to fall. CML looking for the bounty hunter here, but the plasma field comes off cooldown and that will seal the deal. CML doesn't have his enchant totem off cooldown, so he can't cancel the TP. The top lane onto the Husker. They've got the fear and they've also used the roar. And Yoi might just go down with the Aegis, but he's still got a number two life intact. Willow gets caught in the arrow from Varish. And a double for In Your Dream as he comes out with his fresh new lives. Yeah, I mean, at least they are dropping some heroes down somewhat. You know, they are taking away their HP, but they're not finishing them off. Yeah, and this is going to be a very costly battle here as well for Geek Fam. Bounty Hunter gets poked by Varys with the Leap Star Storm. Skem's being chased. He has a Bloodstone, but this Bloodstone's just not going to do enough. Because, uh, yeah, this is, this is not a possible one for them any longer. Yeah, it's sliding out of their hands. Cox dying that fast as well. It's like... There's very minimal chances to actually survive these fights when all the cores are aligning on top of Geek Fam. DP charging in. He's got Force and he's got Roger. Forces out the roar. Looking for the Terrorize here, but uh, they're still all standing their ground. The Shrak gonna get hit by the Hammer. Roger and Force almost dead because of this DB. <laughs> Razor Bloodstone frontlining. If they use all five heroes on a singular target, maybe then. But it's still going to come at a, at a massive cost because right now Army Geniuses, they are stacked up. Shackle Shop does connect onto the Shaker. That's a good start. Some early damage. They do have some heals kicking in. It is uh, a mechanism. Oh, Let's the power go. shot's actually going to finish him off. So uh, thankfully we did not say they cannot kill any hero. Because with five, they're able to get some in here. Now DB diving onto Roger. Roger gonna get chased up. He's got a lot of damage given to the Razor. There's the Force Roar coming out as well. Terrorize doesn't hit the Husker, but it does hit the Razor. Razor down a half HP. Yoey still with the heart. Here comes in your dream. Diving to the back line. Takes down Force. They're gonna lose this Willow too as soon as he exits the, uh, the Shadow Room. Or, nice three man stun actually. Will keep Army Geniuses on their feet. Really, really quick Roshan spawn right there. I just saw the, uh, the I saw the animation, I was like, okay, that's a fast one. Dawnbreaker jumping on Skem, Skem trying to fight and stand his ground, but not gonna be lucky. There is an In Your Dream Dawnbreaker hammering away, crits down, another target. They will take down the Willow too, just outside the base, and Windranger left as the sole survivor. I guess, I guess they're just like, let's get these BKBs and give it a try. Uh... Yeah. Force using Roar to disengage from DB here. They okay, Oscar. they're both getting to the teleport away, but they're fighting in front of their base now. They forced one hero out. It is the Razor. They're still gonna lose Skem. Did he use his BKB? Oh, he did use yes. his BKB. Okay. I was gonna find the Fissure. Gonna connect onto the Bounty Hunter. Arrow is not gonna connect onto anything. The Roots onto the Husker. Husker just jumping in. Gets the Life Break. Does, uh, does that 50% to the Willow. <laughs> in your dream does the rest. Another jump Willow available start. in two seconds, and that taunt is actually super good here because now Yoey can just snipe them one by one. I don't consider Dawnbreaker an abomination, but the shape she's in right now definitely makes it a scary one. Bounty Hunter getting taunted by Yoey. Yoey can't get the bounty close enough. He's very deep behind enemy lines, and they're slowing him oh no. down with stun after stun after stun after stun, but he's just got way too much regeneration. He's regenerating 120 se HP per second, and there goes Cox. Still loading up the fear in Armin. A couple shurikens flying in. It's with the track on a couple heroes. Full force at the cliff. Melee racks about to fall. What does Skem want to do? 30 seconds for PKB. Probably not a lot. Arrow. Ooh, really catches Norman. Norman standing. Here it comes in your dream. <laughs> He's considering his option there that could actually go in. At least they are. Uh... Uh, they are having fun here, Geek Fam. I'm just hoping they themselves as a team are getting yep. something out. Aegis just expires, and this is the fight that we're looking for, and we're finally going to battle it out. Can AG just knock out Geek Fam entirely? Looks like they will lose in your dream at the start of the fight, but they've already forced out Willow's buyback. 
And with the uh, with the Beastmaster dead, arrows flying in, Roger getting pummeled by Varys, so screw that attack speed, slow on Seto walk. As he's just uh, leaping away. Jackal shot onto two, power shot coming through. Yoey almost gets the jump on the Bounty Hunter, but he gets his Shadow Walk off. And these Lesh shards on the ground, stunning. Or at least zoning a little bit. On the side of Army Genius is DB, Bloodstone this charging so in. He's really being a bit of a bully here. Yeah, DB, no one likes a bully. Just go back and uh, finish off those Raxes. Yeah, he, he's gonna listen to us. Thank you, DB. Let's play some Dota. Uh, Geek Fam can most definitely come back into this game. They're only 37 gold. But do they have better late game? Gold. Do they have better no. late game skill? No. No, no, no. no. Alright, here comes in your dream. And landing on top of Skem. Skem did not land the stun on the ground. Might have actually hit the Dawnbreaker, but they're uh, they're already done with the tier two. They're almost done with the tier three. Razor pushing them away with the Bloodstone. He's got the link connected onto four stairs. The cheesy finally. This was a very one-sided show. Right. This has been zero percent win probability since minute 23. So the last 10 minutes has just been for flair. Meaning this next game is gonna decide basically who takes the lead. Uh, as they're tied at 12 and 12. This time around, they have the uh, something Heroes to fall back to. delay. Yeah, they have the Heroes to delay and something to win the game with. Well, it, it's going to start with uh, one of their primary heroes for the late game. Going to be dropping first. Gem goes down. Yoe will pick up the first kill of the game. And that is for the Void Spirit. To so perfect timing there. That was super close. Top lane though. Roger, CMO both low on HP. Naga, low... And DB to secure the kill. You're playing against the Naga Siren, the armor of the uh, of the heroes. Yeah. Well, Naga the and, and Ark. As well. They're looking for Skem. They're going, going the old traditional way here. CML, he's going to slow down the void damage. Going into the snowball, they take down Skem. The support Naga will finish off the tusk. We're going to escape that. They're picking DB. Going to get the glimpse out. Pango rotating in DB. He is in trouble. He's gonna lose his life here, surrounded by Geek Fam. He, the Void Spirit starts doing more damage. The rotations are gonna be uh, are gonna be coming out more often. So that is uh, that is the reason that Geek Fam are trying to be a bit more aggressive now. Yeah, and trying to be aggressive on Norman here. Yoey looking for the kill, but the stroke of fate's gonna clean him out. Mango will find the return kill, however, with the Splash Buckle. He was waiting for Cox to use the Swatch Buckle and then use it because if he would go for the Simulate first, it wouldn't be good enough. Alright, CML. Oh, he actually finds the right Naga instantly. Cox is gonna rotate in. And the kill for the core. DB does get the link on the Pango. Pango gonna be in trouble, stunned up by the Ixwell. Nowhere to go. Oh, they're gonna try Narman here. Well, not just try, they're gonna get him. Disruptor does pop the ulti right below him. He's gonna buy some time. They're still fighting under this ulti, trying to get away. Yoey very low on HP, Cox for the chase. The web comes out from Roger, and it salvages the situation. They're gonna get a two for one trade, and it's gonna be the third kill as the Razor will drop the Cox. And now Varish on the run. Roger has 10 seconds for another web. They're gonna spend some time with this chase. Varish is forcing them away with that inks while looking for the teleport away. It's not gonna be happening here. On top of the Void Spirit, allowed for the Naga to do the wraparound from the side. Oh, they're losing DB here. Cox, Norman. They're clean out the Razor kill for themselves. Razor not enjoying his life right now. Just got killed in top. Now he gets killed in his own jungle. And then the Tusk basically just blocks himself with the shards, which makes it so easy. A lot of TPs going into the bot lane. Gonna be a big fight here, right next to them. On this one, as Yoi will go down. Skem with the Arc Warden in the front line, inside the bubble. Walrus punch to the air by the Tusk. There's a Wraith following, and that Wraith will give him a post-mortem kill. The Roger now rotating to the bot lane. Two supports versus one. He's got the web available. Riptide 2. It will be a Grimstroke taking a lot of damage here, but the glimpse from Norman might have griefed him for a bit there, but Cox is also here. <laughs> oh, big rotation towards the mid lane, right next to the tower. Roger here, Cox here. Norman coming in as well. Squash Buckle already on two with the ulti from four. Snowball's gonna be there to buy some time. Varish. Taking a piece of this battle too, he could get himself a good ulti. He's got the Pango hold in place. There's the counter from the Grim on the Pango. 
DP forcing Norman away, being chased away. Pango still trying to take down CML. This Tusk is so bloody tanky. But now uh, in your dream, gonna be in trouble Ice inside the river. He gets the infest off and inside CML. They've got the void now coming in with the DD rune as well. Geek fam, not gonna find any success here. It's a complete disaster. They're gonna lose everything in this fight. And army genius is clean sweep. What a fight from them. But Skem wants to play the aggressor. They're smoking up from the bottom half towards middle. And this is attempt number two. Last time it didn't work out. Doesn't work out now. They have a haste rune on the pango. They're always going to get the remnant out. They're only going to use the walrus punch onto the tree and protector. There's a beautiful three-man stun. Varys going to turn this one around again. Geek fam, they need to score some success, but force is low. He's down to half. DB, he's got a lot of damage on himself. The song from Roger. It's all going to hell Fox three oh, for two really if he dies as well and that's gonna be a two for four if they can clean this one out Roger he's oh. got ensnare but he can't get close enough DP he's too scary he needs to use that web to disengage 3k lead for army genius is currently looking to top the group here if they can win this one they will take seed one for the playoffs and a team that was probably suspected to end up maybe third, maybe fourth. Could just be the surprise factor here. Song set up for the Disruptor. They've got the Life Stealer, but he somehow is able to get back oh, on the move again. And they are going to be battling this one out all the way to the end. Scam surrounded by enemies. And it is the army that is showing up. The military have arrived and the geeks, they're afraid. They don't want to enlist this time. Like, army geniuses basically have uh, succeeded in halting Geek Fam. And they're continuing to do it uh, with this top lane kill with the Tinker Ward. They found Force. You can just continue following them through. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to actually kill this hero here, but the Astral Steps just not doing enough damage. He's still out regenerating. It's taking some time, Norman. Will go down, but it does mean that they're going to look for extra kills in Fest. Still just alive. as the roll was coming out and Force, holy shit. I don't believe this. I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. He's still being pummeled by the Void Spirit. No is he finally going to get it? Yes, he will. He's actually Varish with the bug to finish up the kill, but this is costly. This is costly for Army Geniuses. If they can just find the kills they need, Skem is going to go down. And no, it is not costly at all for Army Geniuses. They still can't have the damage required, but damn, did that take long to take down force. The damage, but they just need the front line to stay alive. I guess that's why you also need the BKB, so that Pango has a presence in these fights, but look at this guy just getting blown up here. They, uh, they feel like they're untouchable, and they actually are. Roger, gonna pop the song here to try to escape, but CML walking in with a BKB on a Tusk support to run for the wall response. Deal teleport cancelled, Snowball in, and DB will take this one. This Razor is really, really popping off. Yep, it's, uh, oh, there's a glimpse. Okay, Razor, back, uh, back to the bottom lane. He used his Bloodstone <laughs> for absolutely nothing. We'll find the Trench Protector. They don't even get the top lane pushed in that deep. They are cutting out the waves, but they're now looking to maybe continue with the fight. Cox, oh, doesn't get the BKB off, and he's just blown up. Oh, he's blown up so fast. Yeah, it doesn't Everyone look like nothing, nothing is going well for them. Norman still has his ulti, but the kinetic field only placed down. Skem trying to teleport away. He's gone. Roger gone too. Well, nice. They're out of there. Still a very, very long drag. They need to hold out for like at least 20 minutes. Maybe even more than 20 minutes. But they also need to be they need to have some kind of presence on the map too. Maybe this top lane smoke's gonna work out. They've got the glide mirror onto two. CML. Got a snowball. Aku oh. have Cox on the spot. He ain't going anywhere. Grimstroke ulti on top of him. Now in your dream, attacking the tree and protector. Trying to take down Force. He's actually running away from the high ground for now. Does not have uh, does not have the HS anymore. And we'll look for the Naga kill. He is very close to getting it, and we shall. DB with a godlike. That snowball just made it so sad for Geek Fam. That could have actually been a good fight for them. Yeah, they're definitely attempting continue. at it. Uh, Skem about to drop as well. 
Oh. Beautiful. It's getting it's getting from bad to worse. It's getting from bad to worse. The situation is deteriorating rapidly for Geek Fam inside their base. They're just losing one hero after the other, with buybacks coming back in and forth and in and forth. And there goes Scam, and I believe we're looking at the end of the game here, because this is just a one-sided show here. Coming out from Army Geniuses, they, they've team wiped them, they've taken them all. Army Geniuses are way too strong, that was multiple buybacks, and still you can't do anything. I are looking at the fight and be like, oh, that's not good. And yeah, they, they knew what was coming to them. The game did stretch out for quite a long time until uh, Geek Fam actually tapped out, but this one, DB. it feels like they just have the capability of diving this time. Just finished this one a lot earlier. DB, though, I mean, we talked about is this Bloodstone OP or not? For me, it just honestly feels like it. This guy's getting so much out of this. Well, the Fountain might be a bit too much, or is it? <laughs> He's really battling them out. Man is cosplaying Bristleback. That that looked pretty OP right there. Yeah, that that looked pretty OP, but yeah, I I still I still am not convinced. <laughs> that was that was kind of nutty. Now we with BKB jumps on the back line. He wants to arm it again. Roger Song. They're trying to turn their attention to the rest of the fight. There's still the life stealer. He infests out, and he's gonna actually end up inside the silence. But he also brings still the damage. Cares. He's not able to use it there. The GG call comes out. Geek fam, they've had enough of this blunder. Imagine it was uh, like, oh, we got three of them in the Aghanim's Disruptor ulti, and they just beat you all up. That's just how strong army geniuses are.